All right, beautiful people. I told y'all I was going to give y'all my full game reaction. Nets versus Hornets. What in the hell did I just watch? The Hornets, y'all defense, what, what, what in the hell was y'all doing tonight? You give up 42 in the first quarter. Second quarter, you did better, right? A little, little about 20, 24, nothing too terrible. Third quarter, the, 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 the Nets had 99 in third quarter. And in the fourth quarter, they score over 130. So think about that. 99 points in the third quarter. Fourth quarter is 47 seconds left. I turn off the game, right? They had 132 when the game was turned off. I'm thinking to myself, what in the hell is going on with the Hornets in terms of defense? If y'all would have watched that, that game, y'all would have sworn that the Nets had six to seven players out there every time. Because it seemed like a person was open to almost every damn possession. I'm like, what in the hell is going on here? And to LaMelo, LaMelo played like garbage. Hot garbage. I want to be fair to LaMelo because they, 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 I'm just listening to what the, the, the announcers were saying, right? They said that he's been out with the leg issue because y'all know I hadn't been watching any basketball. I didn't watch basketball last year. I just literally bought the package today because I said, you know what? This is the reason why y'all came to the channel and I want to start giving y'all a lot more of these type of videos. So anywho, get back to the point. They said he had been out for a month, right? With the, well, Not for a month. I don't know how long he's been out. I guess since last year. But he had, he had just started back a month ago. And so he hasn't got his legs underneath him and things of that nature. But what I noticed from LaMelo today, LaMelo had eight points, right? Eight points, six fouls. So he had almost as many fouls as points. Um, I guess he broke a streak where he he was he made a three for like 53 games in a row. But then today he didn't. So that broke that streak. But what I've seen with LaMelo, and I noticed this his rookie year, he seems to be like a, a tick off, like a, like a half tick off or a third of a tick off when it comes to like sliding his feet. Anytime he's on the defensive end, he gets beat. It, it, it's as simple as that, you know. Now, you can say, well, he's, his legs now, is, he has a leg issue. I saw this his rookie year. And so that tends to put him in foul trouble. He'll get beat, so then he'll try to like, like grab or something like that. Then that gets him in foul trouble. Or he takes the gamble on trying to knock the ball out of the, the offensive player hand when they get the rebound. That's got that that got he got like two or three fouls doing that. He actually fouled out doing that. I'm like, LaMelo, the person get the rebound, bro. They got the rebound. Let them secure the rebound and just get on the defensive end. Like, don't, there's no sense to trying to swipe for the ball. If it, if this, if it's the end of the game, y'all need a critical steal. That's different. That that's smart basketball trying to you know take a gamble in that case. But you can't be doing it throughout the game. Or if Lamelo gets put deep in the post by somebody, you're six seven, bro. Take the chance and put your hands up and let them try to score, or just let them score if they're deep enough where there's nothing you can do about it. It's only two points. You will be okay. But fouling and putting yourself in foul trouble early, he did that today. He put himself in foul trouble. He only he only played a little over 20 minutes today because he was on the bench the most of the time because he was in foul trouble. I'm like, LaMelo, what are you doing, bro? So, yeah, that 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 I mean, that was pretty much it with him. Um, Jason Terry, you know, he decent. He's the guy that's their bucket getter, so he's going to do what Jason Terry do. Gordon Hayward, I don't know why the hell he still starts. That's just my personal opinion. He should be a, a, a veteran coming off the bench. He's not scoring like that. I know the NBA is going to do what the NBA do. You're on a the team. They pay you a certain amount of money, so they want to play based off the product that they're paying. I get it. But his ass should be coming off the bench, right? He could be a, a nice a, a nice uh, energy starter off the bench if y'all need a couple of baskets or whatever like that um, because he's a, a professional slow scorer. He's just not going to give you buckets like that. And then he's not like super great on defense. So it's like, why is he starting? You know what I mean? Even though it's the Hornets. The best player on that team, y'all for to say it's hyperbole. This is just my opinion. The best player on that team is Brandon Miller in terms of offensively. Oh, that, man, that young man came off the bench. I'm watching him play. I said, why in the hell is he coming off the bench? I got to watch him play a little bit in college, and I thought he was tremendous in college, right? But I'm watching this kid play, and I'm like, am I missing something? Now, of course, again, I just literally, this is my first game today, right? This is my first game watching today. So maybe he had a bad preseason or some other things happened. But I'm thinking, like, this kid, he was the bright spot tonight. I'm like, damn, this kid can hoop. Right, he gets to his spots, and then they had him mic'd up today. I'm listening to him speak. I'm like, he plays the way he speaks. He speaks very sharp. You, he's, you can tell he has a, a a sharp mind. You know what I mean? Especially from a basketball standpoint. 
And so I'm watching him play. I'm watching him get to his spots. And I'm like, he has so much room to grow. Pause, right? He has so much room to grow. So he keeps, he keeps getting better from here. Oh, my God. This, the NBA going to be in trouble. D based off what I saw from Brandon Miller today, at worst, he'll be an all-star. At best, he could be a superstar. He, he, his, his ta he's that talented. No question in my mind. The only thing is, he got to keep his musty ass out of trouble. Make sure he watch the company that he keeps. Brandy Miller, I'm pleading to you, young man. Stay out of trouble, please. Because you're too damn good to not be in the NBA doing what you need to do for people like me, people like all of us. Right? Um... And then on the on the net scene, like I said, it's, it's shit. It looked like they had six or seven players out there at all times. Okay, um, Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons. Overall, he's a good player in terms of like he he plays pretty good defense. He plays good defense. This man can pass his ass off. There's no I can't even debate it. He rebounds well. But if I'm going against Ben Simmons, I promise you. I'm making him a scorer. I'm making him chuck that thing up 20 to 25 times a game. I'm watching this game. Ben Simmons is driving. He's driving in the lane in, one, in some possessions. I'm thinking to myself, let him score. If he's going to score, let him score. Or foul him. Send him to the line. When they did send him to the line, he definitely wasn't making free throws. He's not going to make those free throws. That's It's all in his head. But when he was driving in, he wasn't looking to score. He was looking to pass, and they was still coming off, getting on him, right? They was still, like, another person would help, and he would get the, the I mean, he's going to make the right pass. But in my mind, I'm like, don't do that. Let him either score. Let, let's see if he's going to try to score every time. Let's see what he's going to do. Now, if he proves to me within the game that he can score every single time, you know, after beating that first person or something, then that's a little bit different if he, if he proves that to me. But he has to prove that to me consistently for a period of time and that's not something that i've seen seen yet you know they were bailing them out on a lot of those plays when he would get to a certain spot they would like try to come a double team and leave somebody open i'm thinking like why y'all doing that make him a scorer make him a scorer you know those type of players that would rather pass it every time than try to score even if they're at you know close to the rim and have a higher percentage chance of scoring make their ass score every time and see what they make you pay every time now if they do then that's different and so as i was saying they looked like they were open every single time it seemed like it was one person open or two people open all the time like they had six or seven people um i'm trying to think cam thomas lord have mercy that young man is a bucket you can't leave him open. He don't give a damn. You leave him open, he's going to shoot you out the gym. He's going to get to his spots. He, he's, he's nice. Now, of course, this is just a couple of games in, what, two or three games. So we'll see how the NBA, we'll see how defenses um, adjust as we get to, let's say, 20, 30 games. Let's see, can he continue to be that same guy? Can he be a efficient scorer and things of that nature? But based off what I saw tonight, I was like, damn, that boy getting to his spots. And there is nothing that the Hornets can do about it. Um, but overall, I mean, the game was okay. It wasn't a great game. It wasn't a terrible game. It was okay. The Hornets is trash on defense, which is t which sucks because if they were to have a, uh, what do you call it? What do we call it? A, um... Shit, I'm losing. I'm having a brain fart in the middle of a video. Um, if, if if their philosophy not it's not it's not even it's not philosophy, but I'm just gonna say philosophy. If their philosophy was really predicated on on defense, right? And they tip they had on defense, and then they tip they had more on defense, and let's say transition plays, then they can put themselves in a lot of these games because they're not a team that can just simply like run sets and score that way. And, and obviously you can't you can't survive on just running sets you know what i mean but my point is they need to rely more on playing hard defense smart defense hard smart and transition plays and then whenever obviously that that is um confronted where they can't get the transition play then they they try their best with their sets and stuff like that but based off their sets it's very generic you know one person gets the ball they try to score if they can't score they pass it back out it's not really a lot of screen and a, not a lot of motion with their offense um 
but yeah, overall, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep y'all updated as much as I can with the Hornets. I know that based off my schedule, I can't promise you the days that I'm gonna speak on it, like a Monday or a Sunday. But I will watch as many videos as I can. I am invested because I've, like I said, I've already purchased the plan and I got the premium, the premium pass, the highest one. So I've already spent my damn money. So you know, you I'm, you know, I'm going to utilize the, the. I'm gonna watch it, right? And I am starting to really you know like basketball again and i already told myself i wasn't going to um be all emotional about certain things that had me a bit bitter you know i'm just gonna simply watch these games and give y'all the content that y'all deserve with that being said um i probably left out some stuff i wanted to talk about that's fine but y'all tell me how y'all felt about this game if you got to watch the game y'all tell me your thoughts on the game how y'all felt about the game um i'm pretty sure i left some stuff out and with that being said don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell make sure you go to my shorts and check out me and Unc. we're gonna be on we'll be over there going crazy we talk about totally different content compared to what i'm going to be talking to y'all on the long form content but with that being said i'll see y'all on the next video